Security has become one of the most important thing in the today's technical era and uh, this is way more important when it comes to downloading stuff that you will install in your system. For example, if you want to install an office suite, you will probably download uh, something like LibreOffice. Then you go to their website, you click on the download now button and you will be uh, greeted with the download page. Here you can simply click on the download button and download the package file. So this is the package file, right? and uh, for the demonstration i have already downloaded the package file so that uh, libreoffice file is here so if i open the terminal and hit the ls command then you can see the package file is here right but how will you make sure that the authenticity of this file is good so for that they the providers provide you some kind of mechanism to check the authenticity of the file for example here if you go back to the previous page you get a link called info if you click on that link then they are providing you these hashes for example SHA256 has then SHA1 has then MD5 has and they are also providing you a PGP key that you can check and verify with the file so this is the key so let's just uh, test the file with this hashing algorithm so they are saying that uh, the files 256 has is this one so this is if i can zoom here is starting from 4227866 and ending with 1830 so if you open the terminal and uh, type uh, the hashing algorithm utility so this is uh, sha256 then i can type sha2 56 and i have to add some then the file name that i want to check so in this case the file is this one libreoffice so if i type libre hit the tab key to auto complete the file and hit enter this will generate the hashing sum and this sum should match exactly with the sum that these guys are providing at their website so if you can see it's starting with 422 and ending with e30 and this one is also ending with the same string right and this will be true for any of these hashing algorithm for example if you want to check the md5 then you can simply type md5 here in this starting and uh, so let me show you md5 and hit enter this will output the sum this one right and uh, you can also use gpg utility to verify the sum so if I type here GPG and if I add the parameter of print then MD and the algorithm that I want to print. So in this case let's say let's check with SH256 again then I have to type SHA256 and this has to be in capital letter the SHA and then the file that you want to check for. So this is LibreOffice use the type key to auto complete the file name hit the enter this will generate the same hash for the file so this is uh, 422 and ending with e30 as you can see here and uh, same goes with the pgp signature so for that i'm going to show you another package file to check so if i go to uh, this website here if you can see this is uh, the website of apache open office so this is another office that is very popular and uh, you can download their office package shoot file from their official website and check for that so let's wait for the internet i I think it's not working fine right now okay till then let me show you how you can check for the operating system that you download so usually the linux users they download a lot of distros and they install directly but uh, you have to check the authenticity of the file so in this case if i go to download page of this ubuntu desktop and uh, I think they have some problem with their website but the Ubuntu website is working fine. So if I click on this download button here this will download the ISO file right. So I have already downloaded the ISO file for the demonstration. This is the file this is 18.4 and 4. So this file you can see is here. So if I minimize this window and if I hit ls again. So this is the file that I have here and uh, on their official page they are saying that verify your download so they are telling you to verify the hashing algorithm on their official website so they are also providing you sha256 so this is a command that you can directly copy and paste to check so if i click uh, copy and paste the uh, paste it here this should print ok and this is basically generating the sha sum and then verifying it by its own so as you can see the result i got here is ubuntu and this ok right but you can also do the previous method that i just showed you so if you type sha and 256 then sum and the file name so in this case it's ubuntu and this will generate the same hashing key for the file so you can see it's same
and uh, this is true for all kind of application that you download from the internet so for example if you want to download an IDE then you probably be using the JetBrains IDE so if you click on download button and the process is pretty much same if you go to download page and click on the actual download button it will start to download and they are also providing you FSHA 256 checksum if you click on it you will get the string and you can verify this and uh, the same goes with the NetBeans they are also providing you some kind of uh, hazing algorithms strings so in this case this is SHA 512 so this doesn't matter what kind of hash they are using uh, as long as the string is matching with the file that you download they are also providing you PGP key so if you click on that you will get a PGP key and uh, if you want to know more about how to verify a PGP key then check out the link given in the description it will take you to my official website there you can read the article on how you can verify the pgp key and the hashing algorithm if you need a written documentation so that was it how you can verify the authenticity of a file and i hope you find this video helpful and if you did then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep learning linux